got a job for you. I'm retired. Fish, I need a pilot. I got the new baby now. This can change you and that baby's life forever. We're gonna get Gabriel Martin Larea, head of one of the biggest drug cartels. I've got estimates. He's got over $75 million in cash. A lot more people are gonna come after you. You lie to us. So you guys play brothers in the film. I'm curious what kind of work you put into that relationship, either before the film or during it. You know, 15 years of preparation. Yeah. We've been dear friends for 15 years, so of all of the things that we had to uh, try to figure out for this film, how to act like brothers was very low on the list of priorities. Um, I've slept on his couch more than I've slept on my own brother's couch. Nice. Um, True story. <laughs> but you kind of come up with some like backstories and you know what what they've yeah, been through. That was actually that was a huge benefit of working with Charlie on this because you know when we'd be going over the script and and a lot of the stuff we like to do is not only just within the research of of you know with the tactical work and and being with the you know the the seals and the special forces that we got to work with was meeting up and having dinner and sort of going through just our experience and our history as brothers and trying to create something concrete that we could really sort of expand on once you know we're uh, shooting these scenes and so to have somebody as collaborative not only as a friend but somebody that's not going to be judgmental but to also expand on relationships together I mean that's I would do every film with them. And you've uh, known Oscar Isaac for a little while as well. It's our third film. Yeah, so there's yeah. got to be some familiarity there too. Yeah, when uh, I mean, I was very excited for him to jump on. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff, he'd worked with JC in, in Most Violent Years. <coughs> they had a wonderful relationship, and we all did. So it was very, became such a collaborative experience within this. And, and the brotherhood and camaraderie was you know, something that was so crucial to the story because these guys had such a backstory and a history of, you know, fighting together, protecting each other. And for this, um, you know, whole heist to take place, you needed that. Yeah. And how about some of the locations? It's got a, such an interesting variety of locations. And I'm thinking, you know, for you, Charlie, between this and Lost City of Z, you gotta be pretty comfortable in some of these jungle locales by now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm a great lover of the outdoors. I spend most of my free time camping and hiking and stuff. So anytime I get to go into a beautiful location like Columbia, or we shot Columbia, Hawaii, and uh, Mammoth for this. So all of which were real treat, you know, at the weekends to go out exploring and, and spend some time. I mean, sometimes, you know, we create a narrative about those locations being difficult but and I suppose if you're not well versed or not familiar with spending a lot of time in the outdoors you know getting rained upon can seem like uh, you know uh, uh, an inclement uh, experience but you know I, I, I had a really nice time. Who do you think of the five of you guys would be the best uh, sort of survivalist best equipped to, to uh, navigate these crazy terrains? Well, I don't want to get into a competition between Garrett and I, I so let me just say either. it would definitely just, be one of us. Let me just say us. where I came up from, <laughs> uh, where, where I was raised, and, then, <clears throat> you know, I mean, 40 below weather, you know, 30 miles out in the country, learning how to, you know, camp and prevent, you know, bears from attacking my tent and all the timber wolves that were around because we had turkey pasture and all the canoe experience that I have. and. Sort of, uh, you know, living four years in Arizona and all the time I spent being stranded in the desert. I mean, That's what do you got? The lady doth protest too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's awesome. They got every town covered. So we go through them. As long as a little harder than you think it's going to be. It's too late to walk away. Crash land here, we all die. Run! 